Student leaders have generally tried to keep occupation of the legislative yuan peaceful. They were pleased when former gang leader Zhang Enle left the legislative yuan today without major incident. Upon hearing Zhang Anle had called on labor groups to help him enter the legislative yuan, the pile of chairs forming a barricade inside the assembly was fortified with extra rope. Two extra volunteer security staff were deployed, and police filled the stairways. If he really insists on giving us his demands, we hope he can give them to police, and they can pass them to our fellow students outside, who will bring them in. Basic security concerns mean that we cannot let him inside the legislative yuan. Student leaders say Zhang's anger is misdirected, and the real culprit behind the impasse is President Ma Zhou. We welcome him to present his demands to the Ma administration. At the same time, I think his request is a lot like ours. Whether you support or oppose the Trade and Services Pact, we probably all would like a monitoring mechanism that allows citizen participation. Leaders of the student occupation watched developments outside unfold on TV. Fortunately, there was no violent outbreak.